What's going on guys? So in my last video, I showed you guys how to make some Wolverine claws. Uh, I've got them right here. Uh, I pretty much made these because uh, I've been busy with other stuff. Um, and they were just kind of a fun, like, simple build to do. Like, all you need is just some X-Acto blades and, like, some straps and stuff. Um, yeah, it doesn't take very long. Actually, surprisingly effective. Became real-life Fruit Ninja in my last video. Oh, that kind of worked. You guys really seem to like this video. Like, um, doing really well. So, so I kind of thought, if I'm going to do it, I got to do it right. So, in this video, I'm going to make an upgraded version of these using some real knives. So, yeah, I got... Three actually rainbow chrome switch blades. I don't know what you call them, but uh, I basically they look really cool and they weren't very expensive either. So that pretty much fits all the criteria. The plan is to somehow turn these knives um, into functional Wolverine claws. Definitely gonna have to extend the blade a little bit somehow. Don't quite know how I'm gonna do that yet, but that's what we're gonna figure out. Um, so I'll film the best I can. Should be a fun video though. So one quick thing, I believe the shirt giveaways have ended. Um, so for those of you who got them, awesome. More updates on that in the future. Don't worry, if you still want some cool stuff, follow me on the Instagram, links in the description. I'm um, doing giveaways, like I might even do a Wolverine Claw giveaway, who knows? Um, so make sure you follow me and uh, like some pictures over there if you wanna like win some cool stuff. Or just see what I'm up to. Anyways, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so I just finished up my real Wolverine Claws. Look at it. 
got the rainbow chrome blades. I'm um, sorry I couldn't film as much as I wanted to because I had to make so many iterations to this. By the end of it, I just really just want to get this thing done. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys now how it works and uh, you know, pretty much just explain a little bit about um, all the stuff that I didn't show in the building. So obviously we've got our claw right here. Um, I guess I'll just start at this front part. So right here we've got a 3D printed uh, piece kind of just slopes down and it's meant to hold the blades in a place in the line um, So when they shoot out, they're not gonna wobble everywhere. Um, then attached to that we've got a hand strap um, Just a velcro Strap that's just connected on there. So uh, keeps it nice and steady um, And in the front here, we've got two springs that run all the way back down to the other end where there's a screw that, that are attached to all the blades. Um, so this is actually what provides the propulsion uh, for the blades when they shoot out. So these blades, I uh, actually kind of had to elongate them because uh, the actual blade part themselves from the knife uh, was pretty short. So I just epoxied uh, up on this other chrome piece that came with them, kind of sanded them down. Uh, looks pretty cool in my opinion. Definitely worth it for the chrome effect, like chrome Wolverine claws. Come on guys, like what are we? Hit, hit, hit that subscribe button. Um, yeah, so those springs are connected to the three knives and the knives actually run on tracks. So if I take this off real quick, you can see that there's three tracks that each knife runs on. Um, they've got little like, holding this really close to my face. Oh my God. Uh, I don't have the mutant healing that Wolverine has either. So gotta watch out for that. Um, I can screw it in some metal that uh, allows the knives to run along these tracks right here. These poles kind of run into this back piece here, uh, which is the trigger mechanism. Um, so right here is just uh, some wood uh, that they're epoxied into. Three knives are bolted together and on the middle one, as you can see, there's this little kind of like bar that sticks out here, which releases this nut and bolt um, and allows it to slip out of the groove and shoot forward and then the blades shoot out the front um, and it's really cool. And then on the sides, we've just got some uh, metal struts just to keep it all uh, firm. And on the top here, we've got a, another metal piece to keep the knives from popping out upwards. So guys, got the claws on, ready to go. Got the string just attached to my thumb. All we gotta do is just pull this thumb string. And the claws come out, let's go. Ah, Wolverine, let's go. Um, yeah, to reload it, you just kinda pull back and it's not as exciting. I'm working on a reloading mechanism, but for now you just kinda pull it back. And on the back here, you just flip this little clip up and then uh, it holds it in place and then we're good to go for another launch. Check these things out. Let's go test them. All right guys, well there you go, that's the video. I hope you did enjoy it. I think these things turned out pretty good, uh, if I do say so myself. So yeah, leave a like for some awesome rainbow chrome Wolverine claws. Um, if you have any other ideas of uh, stuff you'd wanna see me make in another video, drop them down in the description below. Uh, I always love reading them, subscribe, just given at this point, you know, come on. Follow me on Instagram for uh, some really cool giveaways, stuff like that. Uh, if that sounds at all interesting to you, why, why not have Wolverine claws lying around? Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Woo! Ooh.